Hey guys, today we are gonna be playing with the new Jones Road, What the Foundation. There's been a lot of talk about this foundation. Uh, so I wanted to test this out for you. Uh, we're gonna be doing a full day wear test. I have not tried this uh, foundation yet. I did get it in the shade Light Claire, which I think is the third shade from the um, lightest one. Uh, so I opted to go for that. And then I did also end up picking up a bunch of Jones Road. I don't have a full face, um, but I did pick up like lip gloss, eyeliner. I have a bunch of the Miracle Bombs. I have some eyeshadow, uh, lip and cheek tints. So maybe a full face? I don't have powder, I don't have mascara. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get into this foundation. I have, I, I'm sure most of us have been unable to avoid um, all the news on this Jones Road Foundation. There's been some like TikTok drama, I think, and some other stuff. So I have sort of by osmosis <laughs> gained quite a bit of information on this foundation. So it is uh, meant to be like a light, light medium coverage foundation. It comes in a jar, so it's creamy. And I think you're not supposed to like over moisturize too much underneath this foundation. So this is what the box packaging looks like. And again, I got it in the shade uh, Light Claire. And I've already opened it up because I wanted to see if the shade was at least remotely <laughs> close to my shade, uh, my skin tone, and it is. So it comes in this jar. And here is the foundation. And um, I don't know if you guys watched Lisa J. Lisa J Makeup is her channel, but Lisa's video where she talks about uh, Jones Road, I was just watching it, and she lives in Texas. And so when she said when she got it, it was a very hot day and the foundation looked like it had separated. Um, and it's been very, very hot in Vegas. So I was a little concerned. And my box, by the way, was like sitting out on my porch for at least three hours. Yeah, I wanna say I picked it up at like six in the evening and I had gotten a notification that it was delivered at around three. So it had been kind of sitting outside for a while and it was like well into the 90s um, the day that it was delivered. So um, I was worried that, you know, this foundation was gonna be separated the way Lisa's was, but it wasn't. It came just like this, I didn't mix it up. Um, so just wanted to mention that. And what I also wanted to show you is that this foundation does come with one of those like covers. Hold on, let me hold this properly. One of those covers. So you like open up the top and then it has this sitting on top. It's just, it's so messy that I'm just gonna kind of get rid of this cover. I don't know if I should keep it. I don't know if it says to keep it somewhere, but it's just, it's too messy for me. I already don't like foundations that come in a jar. I much prefer uh, you know, a squeezy tube, a pump bottle. I don't know, I guess I just like a bottle that's kind of a little bit, that's maybe a little bit more sealed up. That's a personal thing. I'm not criticizing the foundation. I just personally am not the biggest fan of like a jar foundation. It's just, it's just messy and it's probably because I'm the biggest klutz in the entire world. So anyway, um, that is what the foundation looks like. I think it was a TikTok of Bobby Brown's uh, where she talks about how you can use uh, a sponge, but not a wet sponge like just a dry sponge to apply this. You can use a brush. Um, I think her preference is fingers. Um, so I think I'm gonna try a brush and fingers, maybe one on each side of my face. Um, but what I also wanted to do was kind of test out how much product I can wear underneath this foundation because um, again, this foundation you know, is so moisturized, it's like a cream, it's so moisturizing, that I think maybe it doesn't always sit well on top of a lot of skincare. And I have very, very dry skin, so I use a lot of skincare. I use, you know, like a lotion, and then I use a serum, and then I use an oil, and then I use a moisturizer, then I use sunscreen. So what I did today was I stopped at, um, I stopped at my serum step. So I have lotion, and I have serum down, but I don't have oil, I don't have moisturizer, and I don't have SPF. Um, but I think SPF is essential. Um, so I'm going to put SPF on uh, half of my face because I just, you know, we're just testing. Um, and then, you know, again, we'll, we'll use fingers and we'll use brush to put on. So let me stop yammering. Let me get some SPF and we'll get to applying. Okay, so I actually just re-upped on my favorite uh, SPF. So this is most likely gonna be something I'm always gonna be putting on my face. So this will be a good test to see how this foundation wears over this SPF. This is the Revive Soleil Superior uh, SPF 50, and it has just a really wonderful texture, which is why I love it. It just feels like a uh, moisturizer, like a really lovely 
moisturizer. So here it is. It's not super thick. So I'm just putting it on one side of my face here, right? Because we're testing. Uh, but normally I would put SPF <laughs> all over my face. Make sure I work it in down my neck. I have some extra here. I'll just put it on my neck. All right, so, <laughs> so funny. Like this side of my face is shinier than this side. Okay, so we have my SPF down. And again, that is over just serum, no oil, no just straight up moisturizer. And while that's sort of settling in, I'm gonna go in with the foundation. And again, it was on like a Bobbi Brown TikTok where she like literally just dipped her finger into the foundation and said, that's probably even more than what she had, but she said that is enough. That's all you need. So this is, I guess, not only meant to be a very light, light medium coverage foundation, but also just light usage. <laughs> so I'm going to apply to the side without SPF. And that's the shade. I think that works for me. Well, let's go ahead and work it in. I am gonna use this side with a brush and I'm gonna use my Westman Atelier foundation brush. This is a paddle brush, which I just feel like is probably better for this texture foundation. Usually I like um, foundation brushes that are a little bit more buffing, like there's a little bit more surface area to the bristles. Um, but those I like if I'm really gonna be like working in a foundation, I need, I need it to blend. This one is so kind of creamy. I feel like I just need to spread it around, if you will. This has a really nice um, uh, fragrance. It actually reminds me very specifically of a spa that I've been to where I feel like this was the scent in the products. I don't know what it is though. It's like fresh and organic. So that is that little bit, just kind of blended in. Yeah, very, very light coverage. I actually don't even see that much. So I am going to, again, just dip my finger into the jar here. Yeah, and the texture of this foundation is just very, very creamy. I would not say it's very moussey or air whipped in any way. It's just very creamy. Okay, I just picked up a little bit straight onto the brush from the cap of the jar and I'm just gonna add it to where I have some of these sunspots here and I just wanna see, sort of just a test of like how much coverage there is. Yeah, I would say even building it up, it's still just, it's a very light coverage. I don't even know if I'd call this light medium. Okay, so here is foundation and here is no foundation. I think at least with this shade, it's brought down the redness quite a bit. So you see I have a little bit of red blotchiness over here, a little bit over here. It's definitely taken that down, but it really hasn't done much coverage to these actual like um, hyperpigmentation spots, which is okay. This is a light coverage foundation. I would not expect it to, so that is fine. Yeah, I don't think it's done much for like the kind of darkness underneath my eyes here. It looks the same. So it really doesn't do much for darkness. It's done a really good job with redness though. So that again, this is shade Light Clear. Yeah, even around my nose where I have redness, I feel like it's dampened that quite a bit. So interesting. I don't know if I've ever used a foundation where it's done wonders for the redness, but not so much for like the deeper sort of spots on my face. Interesting. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to this side of my face, which is the side that has SPF. So this will be a nice test. And I'm also gonna use my fingers to just sort of blend it in. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit, again, straight from the tub here. And just gonna spread it out. You know, considering this has like a cream-like texture, there is a little bit of um, grip to this product. So it doesn't necessarily uh, just you know, kind of like blend into the skin. Like, I feel like there's a little bit of, like, I have to work a little bit, which is fine. It's just an observation. Add some up here. Okay, so there it is all over my face. This side is still a little bit red, I think because I was massaging it in with my fingers, but I think in a couple seconds, we're gonna see that redness die down. Yeah, this is a really interesting foundation it's given me quite a bit of glow i don't think it does anything in terms of like 
blurring my larger pores or anything like that. There's quite a bit of radiance. I think you guys can probably, see, you can probably see it all over my face actually. This is a side again that I put SPF down and this is a side with just foundation and I think both sides are just as radiant. I was kind of assuming that this side was going to end up being more radiant because it had that SPF down, but they're both the same. <laughs> same level of radiance. If I had to choose, and I, and I personally prefer brushes to fingers, but for this particular foundation, I would use uh, fingers. And I think that is Bobbi Brown's recommendation as well. So I definitely agree with her. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, because I think I was telling you, um, even though this is like super creamy, there's like a little bit of grip to it. So I think the fingers really help kind of like work it in. I feel like the brush that just takes a little bit of effort to kind of like really um, like blend it out. So I do like the fingers a bit more. All right, I feel like this cheek still looks a little bit redder than this one. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more and I did add a little bit more to this side just to see if I could build up cover. So I'm just gonna kind of even that out, add a little bit more onto this cheek here. Now, because there is quite a bit of radiance here, I think powdering is probably the way to go. Um, but I do only wanna powder one half of my face. Uh, again, for the purposes of this video, since we're just testing it, um, I wanna see the difference. So, sorry, I'm just going back and forth because this is a side with SPF. Do I powder the side or do I powder the side without? I think I'm gonna powder the side without. So this will be the SPF side, this will be the powder side. I think that makes it easier. So I've got my Say Airset Radiance Loose Powder here, and I'm just gonna use a, just a teensy bit and just put it right over here where I feel like I'm really shiny and just around this nostril here. So yeah, oh, that's pretty obvious. <laughs> so powder here, no powder there. And we'll see, we'll see how it wears throughout the day. So that is the foundation. Let's go ahead and just uh, apply some of these other Jones Road products that I have. Oh shoot, I just got powder all over me. Okay, the next product I wanna try is a product that I have tried for you guys. I was not the biggest fan of it. It is the Miracle Balm. And I feel like this is one of those products that people either love or they just kind of don't get. I unfortunately fall into the I just don't get it camp. Now, since I've done that video, many of you have commented like you use too much or do this, do that, whatever. So I actually have three different shades. I have Dusty Rose, which is this shade here. I have Bronze, which is this shade here. And then Credo Beauty, which is where I purchased all of this uh, Jones Road stuff. Um, they actually sent me one in O Natural, which I think is, yeah, it's kind of like a light pink, which I have not tried yet. So this is one of those products that I feel like we're seeing more and more of. It's sort of like make it whatever you want it to be kind of a thing. So um, I'm going to use, wow, which one am I going to use? I think I'm going to try the bronze shade. So this Miracle Balm is just that, it's a balm, it's tinted, there's a little bit of like a metallic sheen to it. And I do know that there is like a, like a layer on top, almost like a seal that you have to crack. So if you get one of these and you haven't had any experience with these Miracle Bombs, you definitely want to, you can see what I did here, you wanna like just press your finger and then you get kind of past that top layer and you get into the actual product. Um, otherwise it's gonna feel like you're not really getting much product. And then underneath it's a much, kind of softer situation, you'll actually reach the balm. So I'm just picking up a little bit on my finger. In fact, I'm actually gonna just, I don't even know if you guys can see it, but there it is. Now, what I didn't like about this product is that it stayed tacky on my skin. Now, I just sort of uh, picked it up with my fingers and I'm just kind of pressing it into the side of my face here. Cheekbone, underneath the cheekbone, on top of the cheekbone, sort of all over. And my issue with the Miracle Balm is that it it just sort of remains um, tacky on the skin. It remains very, very balmy. It never really sets down. Um, it doesn't really feel like it gets absorbed or anything in a way. It just sort of sits on top of your skin. So. I was not the biggest fan of that. I, I like something that sets down, something that I don't have to powder. Um, but this is a product I feel like if I apply it, I, 
I have to powder it. I have to like do something to take the tack away um, because it's it's tacky enough that like if your hair is down, it will get caught in it. And I do not like that. Um, so I just put on the most minuscule amount and yeah, it's still it's still tacky. I got a lot of feedback when I first tried this. People were telling me, you're using way too much or whatever. And I'm like, I'm really light-handed when it comes to makeup. I'm sure you guys know that. Really light-handed when it comes to makeup. So I was like, too heavy-handed. Like, how little do I have to use? So I really just picked up the lightest, lightest. I don't even think you can see the pigment in there. And it's it's sticky. It's sticky. I don't, yeah. I don't know if this is my favorite thing. And I feel like if you want to get any kind of, color going, you do have to use a little bit more than just the tiniest bit. So I'm gonna just pick up just the teeniest amount more here and then just press it, press it in. Yeah, now is like when I feel like it gets, like I can see it, but now it's getting really like kind of moist on my, <laughs> sorry, moist. Uh, getting really moist on my skin. So I am definitely gonna have to powder this down. So that's the Miracle Balm in bronze. I I don't know. I guess I just haven't figured out the best way to use it for me. I need to play around with it a little bit more. Um, but I think she uses it all over. I guess I'll use a little bit on my forehead, being that this is like a bronze shade. A little bit down my nose. I will say, I do feel like it's playing well with this foundation. I was curious to see if this was gonna end up being like too much, you know, too much like goo and creaminess or whatever, kind of just piled one on top of the other, but I think they are wearing well together, which is nice. Now this is the side that I had powdered down on. So I just put the balm on top of the powder and it's still, it's still tacky. Hmm. I do feel like now that I've kind of put it all over my forehead and down my nose, I do feel like I see the warmth that it is giving my skin. But yeah, it's just, can you hear that? It's just sticky. So I'm gonna take out my Say powder again and I'm just gonna powder this side, but I wanna see if that helps the Miracle Balm. I mean, yeah, it definitely helps the uh, the tackiness, but I feel like it also it takes away from like that special glow that the Miracle Balm gives you. So I'm kind of torn, you know? I love the way the Miracle Balm looks. I don't like the way it feels. And then when I powder it, I like the way it feels, but it doesn't, yeah, it loses that special glow. All right, well, that is the Miracle Balm. Balm. I did also pick up the lip and cheek stick. So let's pull that out first actually so we can use this as a blush. So here is the stick and I got the shade bright pink. Wow. So here is the bright pink color. <laughs> so pretty. I actually just used the Westman Atelier Pop It. Um, baby cheeks blush stick yesterday this one has a little bit more warmth to it the pop it colors is like a fuchsia there's almost like a little bit of purple in there um this has almost a little bit of peach in there so it kind of leans the other way um but really quite vibrant so i'm just gonna run my finger over this and i haven't used this product at all um this is my first go with it I think putting this on top of the Miracle Bomb is a, is a bit much. Again, it looks okay, but like, I feel like I'm just pressing it into a lot of, a lot of goo here. Let's try this side. Yeah, this side feels better. This is the side again with the powder. Okay, very pretty. I really like this color. There's, I think, uh, maybe six colors in total. I had a really hard time choosing, but I'm glad I went with this one. So that is bright pink. And then let's see, I did get two of the shimmer face oils. This is a lot of ooey gooey stuff for the face. <laughs> but I figured I would just use this as highlighter. So this is the shade Midas. And this is the shade, wow, this is the shade Pink Opal. This looks more pink in person, I think, than it did online. But I'm very curious about this texture so it comes in a pump there is the consistency and oh 
It's a little bit lighter than I thought. I feel like, yeah, I mean, I feel like, it, you know, it feels like an oil, but it doesn't feel super oily. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's not like, it's not like just running all over and um, like super slick looking. Can you see that? Like it's almost like a dulled kind of oil, but it's not quite like a dry oil either. Oh, huh. that is really interesting. It actually feels more silicone-y than oily. All right, that's the pink opal. I do feel like if you keep working it in, it just eventually disappears. Okay, we'll have to see how that works on the face. Um, this one again is Midas, and this has a golden, slightly bronzy kind of tone. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna keep working this in. I wanna see what happens to this one. Hmm. Nice, like, citrus scent. Ooh, I love that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the more I work these face oils in, the less metallic they are and the less pigmented they are. Oh. Okay. All right, I'm going to just pump out, like, a teensy drop here of the Midas. Oops, the Midas color. I'm actually going to spread that out and then just add a bit there. Let's see how this works over the Miracle Balm, the Cream Foundation, <laughs> the lip and cheek stick, all this stuff that I have on my face. That's really pretty. That really gives you kind of like a, like a, like a sweaty glow, like right before you start really sweating. <laughs> that like perspiration glow. I am, I have to admit, really pleasantly surprised by these face oils. I thought that they were gonna be like oily and kind of like a mess and something I'd have to put into a moisturizer or a tinted moisturizer or foundation or something like that to use. But these are actually quite lovely on their own. There is definitely an emollience to them but they're not sticky or gooey. Yeah, they have such an interesting texture. Wow, this is great. I feel like I love this for the summertime. This is like the perfect glow. The Shimmer Face Oil. Color me surprised. All right, I do not have any eyebrow product from Jones Road. I'm actually not even sure if they have an eyebrow product. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Dior Onset Brow Gel just to fill them in a little bit. And then for eyes, I do have quite a bit of um, eye makeup from this line. So I do have three of their Just A Sec eyeshadows. These are the ones that come in the pot. So these potted shadows are uh, like on the denser side. They're not moussey like the Charlotte Tilbury or the Tom Ford. They're probably a little bit closer to the Chantecaille mermaid eyeshadows, maybe a little bit flakier than the Chantecaille ones, but like closer to that versus the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and then I do have two of the pressed shadows. I have Patina, which you guys have seen me use quite a bit. This one I actually used in Cabo. And then uh, Credo sent me dark brown, which I think is just a dark brown matte. Let me take a look here. Yeah, here's a dark brown. So that I probably wouldn't necessarily use like all over my lids. I would probably use this with a liner brush and use it as, um, as eyeliner. Um, but I do actually have two of the Jones Road, the best pencil, which is uh, an eyeliner. So I just purchased Onyx and Credo Beauty sent me black. So not much to see here. It's just a pencil that you sharpen. Here's black. And then the one that I ordered, Onyx, actually has a little bit of shimmer to it. Ooh, pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but this is Onyx. And it has like just the subtlest bit of micro glitter in there. Really pretty. And the micro glitter actually looks blue, like dark blue. My eyes could be playing tricks on me, but that's what it looks like in this light. So what I would like to do is use Patina which is this pressed powder, and then use one of the Just A Sec eyeshadows. So I'm gonna use a fluffy brush. I've got my Esam V34 brush, and I'm just gonna put down like a light layer of this patina shade.
So, so pretty. I still have to film uh, like an updated favorites one and done eyeshadows. This is definitely gonna appear in there, but it's really, really great just all by itself. So there's a light dusting of patina all over. Um, pewter is a little bit too close. It's probably a little bit sh more shimmery than the patina, but it's a little bit close. So I'm not gonna use that. I wanna use something that's um, a little bit different. This one is Topaz. And then we've got Golden Peach. And I'll use in the corners here. Just kind of brighten those up. These are actually a little bit creamier than I remember. So they're probably a little bit creamier than the Mermaid eyeshadows from Chantecaille. Those are pretty dry and like really packed in there. Um, they're slightly putty-ish. Sorry, I'm just trying to think of like a good comparison. So they're creamier than the Westman Atelier iPods. I think they're even creamier than the Chanel Ombre Premiers. Like there's a little bit more emollients to these yet they're still kind of dense in the pot, you know? All right, and now for the best pencil. So I'm gonna use Onyx, which is the one with the like metallic shimmer in there. I'm just so excited. I love eyeliners with like a little kick to them um, because you can't see it from far away. So it's almost like this little secret. <laughs> like if you get up close to my face, you'll get a little special surprise. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and tight line with this. It's not um, actually coming off on my uh, waterline, uh, either top or bottom, very easily. So let me just try on my actual skin here and not my waterline. Yeah, it works fine that way. It just didn't come off on my waterline very easily. That's strange. Okay. I'm just getting it right at the base of my lashes here. All right, so there is Onyx. Yeah, not not really coming off on my waterline very easily, so I really have to get it into the base of my lashes here. Okay, so what do I have left here? I do have a couple of cool glosses. So I have Original, which Credo sent me, um, and I think this is just clear. Yeah, this is just like the clear version. And then I purchased a Golden Shimmer. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I definitely want to use that. Now, again with the packaging. This is not my favorite packaging when it comes to uh, lip gloss, like this Juicy Tube situation. I don't know. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I don't know if it's because I'm just putting it on there, but how is that any different from like a lipstick or whatever? I don't know. <laughs> so it's just not my favorite for some reason. But I really want you to try this gloss out because you guys know how much I love gloss. So, oh. These are kind of minty. I don't like minty either. Wow, these are actually pretty minty. Okay, I'm not the biggest fan of that. I definitely don't want to feel the mil uh, the mintiness and I'm feeling the mintiness. Oh, I forgot to put on mascara. <laughs> Hold on, let me curl my lashes here. I'm just gonna use the Lancome Lashy Doll. Now, back to the lip gloss. It's very minty. I feel like I can taste it, I can smell it. I can feel it. And this gloss, maybe I didn't put enough on, I feel like has absorbed really quickly. Like it's kind of gone from my lips already. Now the reason why I don't like uh, minty lip products is because they, more often than not, I don't, I don't wanna say always, but more often than not, they just irritate my lips. And I, you guys know I suffer from eczema and the worst place I get eczema is on the top of my lip here. So I really kind of, like cognizant of like the way my lips feel because of that. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this off because I wanna try that lip and cheek stick. I wanna try that on my lips. Okay, so again, this is in the bright pink and I'm just gonna use my finger and pick up some of the product and then just smear it on my lips. Nice, it feels emollient enough for my lips and I think it's faded a little bit from my cheeks, probably because there's so much going on, um, especially this side I didn't powder. Um, but this side I did have a little bit of powder down. Let's just add a little bit more and see what happens. All right, I think that is all the stuff that I have from Jones Road. Um, 
quick recap. So we're gonna do a wear test on the foundation. So I'll come back and talk about the foundation. In terms of everything else, uh, I'm not a fan of these lip glosses because of the mint. The Miracle Balm, I am still on the fence about because yeah, my skin, it still feels tacky from it. And I, yeah, I just, I don't personally like that on my, on my face. I know a lot of people don't mind. They're like, oh, I don't even notice. But for me, I just, I don't like that. Um, I am so pleasantly surprised by these shimmer face oils. These are really cool. And I love this like glow right here. Is that not like just the most beautiful, like beachside summertime kind of glow? So good. So loving those. I love the eye products, just the sec eyeshadows. Um, these best eyeshadows, really great. Um, the pencil, I mean, I think it looks beautiful lining my eyes, but I don't think they work on my um, actual water lines. That's okay. Oh, the lip and cheek stick. Very lovely. We'll have to see how long lasting they are on my cheeks. Feels great on the lips. So I enjoy that as well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just go on with my day. It is about 9.30 now. So we'll say I put this on at about nine and that's it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this natural daylight check-in. Hey guys, so I am standing in front of my mirror. We're doing our natural light check-in and it is about 2.30. So I've had this makeup on for about five, five and a half hours. This foundation is so interesting because I thought for sure by now, considering how radiant it was when I first put it on, I thought I was gonna have to powder by now. I thought I would just get more and more radiant, but I feel like it's actually like set down. I feel like this foundation looks better now than it did when I first put it on. Like I've been looking in the mirror every once in a while and I wanna say that I kind of slowly started to notice this um, really beautiful kind of finish, maybe like an hour and a half after my initial like application, no longer, longer, maybe like two hours after my initial application. Um, yeah, it just looks really, it looks really nice. Now the glow that you see here, we've got that shimmering face oil, we have the Miracle Balm here, but like down here, I don't have anything on top of the foundation. It's less tacky. It, um, yeah, I feel like it has set down. It's still there though, like I can see the coverage. It's very interesting, very, very interesting. Um, I really love the shimmering face oil. Can you see it now? I think you could see it pretty well when I was filming under my lights, but here it is in natural light. It's just a really soft, it's like a soft glazed donut look. It's not like a full off <laughs> glazed donut, but like a soft glazed donut look. It's so pretty. The Miracle Balm, still sticky. Yeah, it's still sticky. And this was the side with SPF and this was the side I powdered. It's so weird because I feel like I needed the powder when I first put it down, but now looking, I don't think I need, I don't think I need the powder because it slowly sets down eventually. Yeah, this is, this is an interesting foundation. I really like the way it looks now, but I feel like it took a little bit to get here, if that makes sense. But anyway, this is my check-in. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like at the end of the day. Hey guys, it is uh, towards the end of my day here. It's about 5.30. So I've had this makeup on for about eight and a half hours. And you know, not much has changed since my check-in. So this makeup is really pretty. It's really, really pretty on the skin. It like actually wears really well. I usually kind of take a look at the tip of my nose to see if like more redness is showing, if it's looking, especially oily, um, like I check there for wearing away. And I think you can see like my redness is still um, like covered. Um, I don't feel like it's peeking through. I don't feel like the tip of my nose looks especially radiant. I actually just came in from a walk. I was walking butters outside. It's actually a really nice day here in Vegas. It's not broiling hot outside, but it's, it's warm, it's warm out. Um, and everything looks like in place. I'm actually really surprised considering how many like cream, oil, balmy products I put on my face. It all, the longevity is there 
For sure. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really like amazed at this foundation. I think um, the only criticism I have for it is the packaging. I just don't like the jar. I think if there was any way this could have ended up in a squeezy tube, I think I would have just liked that more. Um, and I don't like that it, it really took about an hour and a half, two hours to like just set down and just be instead of it being kind of radiant and still like feeling kind of tacky and a little bit emollient. I just wish it didn't take as long. So I would say those are my only two criticisms for this foundation. Other than that, I think it looks really nice. I mean, I'm, I'm like really surprised here because it was so radiant. It was so uh, creamy and balmy putting it on that I really thought that it was gonna just kind of melt off my face, that it was gonna get more and more radiant, and it hasn't. It's, it's actually done the exact opposite, and I'm just surprised at its longevity. A thumbs up for this um, What the Foundation. I'm really, really surprised. By its description, I thought I was gonna like it. Light, light, medium coverage, that's totally in my wheelhouse. A creamy, you know, rich foundation. I have dry skin. I knew that was gonna be in my wheelhouse. But yeah, I, I'm just surprised. I'm surprised at like the set down longevity situation of this foundation. So really a thumbs up for it. I, I really like it. I think it looks really, really great on the skin. Thumbs up for the shimmer face oils. Again, this is an oily um, kind of like, like I said, like almost like a dry oil, but not really, it doesn't have that kind of powdery feeling, um, but it just looks great and doesn't look more shiny now. Like I'm just amazed at how everything has really stayed put. It's, it's pretty cool. So uh, the Shimmer Face Oil, I really, really enjoy. I really enjoy these um, Just A Sec eyeshadows, the ones in the pot and the Best Eyeshadow, the pressed powder. Really uh, love those. The Lip and Cheek, uh, stick. I didn't really like it on my lips that much. It didn't seem like I, I kind of reapplied it a few times and it just, it wouldn't stay put. It was just sort of, yeah, it just kind of slid off. So I like this for cheeks, not the biggest fan of it for lips. Um, I do not like these cool glosses because I personally don't like uh, mint um, and these are very minty. So I will not be using those. Um, these perfect pencils, the best pencil. <laughs> The best pencil. Um, I don't know. I don't like the fact that it doesn't go onto my waterline. So again, that's personal. I don't know if it works for you on your waterline. Let us know down below in the comment section. If you try these pencils and they go onto your waterline, let us know. Um, the other thing I don't like, and I don't know if it's because I use the shade Onyx, which has like the little metallic uh, bits in there, but my eyes are kind of itchy and I've been resisting just like going in really, really hard, um, but they're itchy. Like the corner of my eyes itchy, the outer corner of my eyes itchy. I just wanna like, I basically just wanna remove this eyeliner. I'm pretty sure that's what it is because I've used these eyeshadows before. I've used this mascara before. Nothing's ever bothered my eyes. I think it's this eyeliner. So uh, not great. I'm definitely gonna try the, not the Onyx, the black, the Noir one, because that one doesn't have uh, the shimmery bits in there. So maybe that's not gonna irritate my eyes. So the Onyx is kind of a fail for me because of that. Um, and then the Miracle Bomb is just a fail. I just don't like the way it feels on my skin. Do you know what it kind of feels like? And I really, I don't mean to besmirch this product because again, I know a lot of people really love this product. It feels like I sweat and it kind of dried. It's that kind of feeling like like it's old sweat that's just been kind of hanging out on my face. So it has that level of tackiness. I think you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's my assessment of the Jones Road products that I have. Uh, this foundation is just really, it's really cool. I think if you have oily skin, don't shy away from this. I would give this a shot. I would definitely powder it. Um, but I think you're gonna see it like actually start to look really good uh, within like an hour, two hours or so. It's gonna like set down and look really nice on the skin. It's just, yeah, it's a really fascinating foundation. It's very, very different from anything I've ever used. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.